Hey you, my Sephora Springs Savings event orders have arrived. Now we did discuss a little bit of the wish list and some recommendations, but these are the products that I actually picked up and I'm gonna share them with you. I do have one more package on the way, <laughs> but for now, these are the goodies that I picked up and I'm excited to share them with you. So let's hydrate and begin. Let's start off with this YSL product. I have not purchased anything from YSL in a really long time. And this looked interesting, you know? And it happened to be like brand spanking new and dropped right during the sale. And I was like, yeah, why not? Let's do it. This is the Halo Tint Highlighter. So this is pretty much like a gel highlighter, I think. Yeah. So it came out with three colors. I got the shade New Glow. And look at the packaging. It's on cute. Look at that. Very simple, clean, kind of aesthetic and vibe. So, Halo Tint Highlighter. Shake well before use. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can get into that, that's pretty. It doesn't have any glitter particles. It's just like a nice glowy type of product. So let's try it out on the face. I mean, I do have some highlight on. Right now I'm using the Chanel. This, it's really a blush, but on me it's a highlight. It's like a highlighting blush. But that's what we have on. So let's just go over top and see. Okay. It kind of dries down pretty quick, so... I like put it on my hand and then went to go pick it up and by the time I dabbed a little it was kind of already dry so let's go in a little bit more. The formula is light. I like that. So again I did have highlight on previously but this is what it looks like the YSL on the skin and again this is the end of day makeup I got like creases in the smile lines you know but that's okay. So swatches beautifully it's nice and intense but not you know not too much that's nice all right so this seems to be nice so far i like the packaging i like that it's not an excessive amount of product it's kind of like a realistic amount of product and it's quite lightweight like i said it's pretty all right so that's the ysl liquid highlighter what is this called again the halo tint highlighter skincare makeup hybrid Ooh, we love that. Are there like, is there anything else we need to know? No, that's all we got. There we go. Boom, bada bye bye. I did it. I had to do it. I told you I was gonna do it. Glossier You. You don't understand. The minute this came in, <laughs> ripped it out of the packaging, which the packaging was really nice. It had like this red band and it was like white, very simplistic, very it was nice packaging, but I was just like, I need to get this open. I need to get this on. I love this. Light. It's fresh. It's soft. It's pretty. And I love that it's not overpowering. It's a scent that you wear and you just feel good. You feel clean. You feel fresh. You just feel really, really good. I love this. I'm so happy that I got it. It's definitely a skin scent where it's more like it's for you more than it is for anybody else. I think it's worth the hype, it's nice. It wears really well, it lasts really well. It's just all around a beautiful, beautiful I scent. Something from Lawless. This is their Forget the forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Tinted Balm Stick. That's a lot. <laughs> and I got it in the shade Georgie. I like these type of lip plumping products, not because I want plumper lips, but because it really smooths the lines and I've had quite a good experience with the other Lawless lip products that I've tried. So I picked this one up. I am going to remove what I have on now. And then let's try that out and see. There, it's so juicy looking, right? I see what it looks like on the lips though. See if it gives like some color or if it's just like a, a bomb bomb, you know? I'm not getting much of a tingle or a burn or anything like that. And then here is what the balm looks like on the lips. It's comfortable. It's really a balm. It's not giving me like, <laughs> where'd you go? Sorry, hi, I'm back. Um, 
it's really like a true balm. It's not giving like a ton of color. It just gives like a little tint of color and nice glow and hydration to the lips. It feels pretty good. So that was the Lawless Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Tinted Balm Stick. You guys have no idea how much I have been loving this brand. It's a newer brand, but all of the products that I've tried so far, I have really, really liked. And they came out with their first eyeshadow palette. So this is the Endless Sunset Shade Shine Shade Shadow Palette. Clean multi-purpose uh, palette for eyes and cheeks. Eee. Take a look at this packaging. Yeah. Nice, right? Very soft and pretty, realistic type color story. Cheeks. This one over here, you can use that one wet. On the back, it kind of gives you a description. Oh, that was lovely. Yep, and I broke it. So I just dropped her and broke it, but that's not... But hey, it is what it is. Very simple color story, very practical, very wearable. As I was kind of like swatching these and putting my fingers in the palette, <laughs> this is like a nothing thing, but I, it came to my head and I, I feel the need to, to share it. I feel like you could maybe get a splinter with this because like right here, let me show you. There's already like wood lifting. Do you see that? And like, I feel like if you're not paying attention, you could get like a splinter. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm still dabbling on into Rare Beauty. I picked up another product from them. This came up as new. So I was like, okay. This is the Dewy Liquid Blush. And I think it's the shade that's new. Correct me if I'm wrong, because again, I'm new to Rare Beauty. I don't know. But these I know are very, very popular, these blushes. Packaging. I know these are like one dot on your face and you have a lot of pigment. Kind of blushes. Do we want to try it? Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> oh, I'm brave, I'm daring. <laughs> And I did get the blush brush, so let's try that with it, yeah? Haven't washed it, I hate doing that, but it's okay, I don't do it often. An angled dual fiber brush, blush brush with soft synthetic bristles that blend and build seamlessly for an airbrushed finish. So the brush looks like this, it's like angled. All right, let's go. Ooh, okay. I get the hype. I get the hype. Oh, that's so nice. So that's what it's swatched like. And look at it on the skin. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay. Ooh. And the brush was nice. The brush was very nice. I recently picked up the concealer brush. Wow, I love this. Use it all the time. So I had to try this brush. Blush is so pretty. So I get the hype. A quick story. Way back when, when this product first came out, it came out with two colors. It came out with like a peach color and it came out with a pink color. Of course I went for the peach. Tried it, hated it. It was awful in my humble opinion on my skin tone. But everybody in an array of skin tones loves the pink version. So I said, I'm going to try the pink version. It's the Dior. Again, this is not a brand new product, but it's a product that I guess has been re revived in a sense with the hype. So it's the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Professional Performance Color Awakening Universal Blush Natural Healthy Glow. And I got it in 001 Pink. This one. You know the one. You know the one. Yes, you know the one. I know you know the one. This one. This is my Dior number 16. So let's swatch her first. She's like a super, like, chalky looking pink. 
I'm very nervous on my skin tone how this is going to go. All right, let's just do it. Yeah, she's still a little, a little ashy. Yeah, no. I have seen darker skin tones use this and it looks great on them. Like, what? It's an undertone thing. But you see, look at the Rare Beauty. It's got glow to it. It's gorgeous. And then what is this? I don't love it. <laughs> it's got a little, it's a little light, right? Is it, or is it me? Yeah, you can see. Right here in this angle, it looks a little light on my skin. That's a shame, ain't it? I mean, it did swash kind of ashy. The Rare Beauty blows this thing away. But it is very nice. Like, it can, it's smooth on the skin. I will say that. This formula, they need to do it in more colors. Because this is not it. I should have known better. <laughs> You see how this stuff, it doesn't work. It's not everything is for everybody. Yeah, I can't get this. I mean, it looks okay, but then certain angles you can see it's like, wait a minute. I mean, how does it, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I feel like it looks okay, but then like certain angles. Right? I don't know. Next thing I picked up uh, is from Charlotte Silbury. It's the Glowgasm Beauty Wand. Beauty Light Wand. It's a high blush. High blush? What is... Okay. Hold on a second. <laughs> what is this? A magic wand to enhance the cheeks with the perfect Glowgasmic high blush. High blush. Twist to open, gently squeeze release product. Twist to close and apply with the cushion applicator. Pop on the apples of the cheek and blend to glow. So I got it in the shade Peach Gasm. I love my contour wand. It's amazing. And this is same kind of packaging, but it's supposed to be a high blush. So it's like a highlighting blush. So let's check it out. Ooh, so pretty. I'm gonna do it on the side with the Rare Beauty. It's gonna be super glowy. See, I like products like this. This side looks so good in comparison to this. <laughs> Ooh, pretty, right? I like that. I was a little concerned about the color, and the color looks nice with the Rare Beauty blush. Wishlist product right here. This is from Valentino. This is the Very Valentino Concealer. All day, light lasting covering concealer. I got it in the shade MA4, which is medium ombre four. I love concealer. I love concealer so much. I want to try them all. Very pretty packaging. Let's see what this color swatch is like. Oh, nice doe foot. Yeah, very light and thin texture. Oh, I like that this has like a very yellow undertone. So it's going to brighten. Let's see how it blends. Nice and thin. Feels very lightweight. Look at that. Yeah, it feels pretty good. So the Valentino Concealer. Excited to try that out. From the wish list, it's the Peace Out Acne Day and Night Duo um, Dots. The acne dots are acne patches. Like, uh, you see this little guy right here? He was huge yesterday. Like, wow, hello, hi, I'm here type of thing. I put one of the night ones on, which are a little bit thicker, a little bit more. I put it on last night. I mean, I can already see the difference. It's still there. There's no miracle happening. You know what I'm saying? But these help so much. So you have a day and a night. So the night ones are a little bit thicker, a little bit more intense. And then the day ones are thinner so that you can put it on and wear makeup over top of it. And it's not going to look like you have a thick patch on. So you get 20 day and 20 night. So I picked that up. We talked about this from the wish list. This must be my wish list box. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Makeup Forever HD Skin Twist and Light Loose powder. 
I do have the Givenchy. I did order the Givenchy powders that were like comparable to this sort of kind of that reminded me. And yeah, so this is the powder that has three different colors, right? And then I believe you twist it and it comes out. So I got the shade tan number three. Okay, so here is what it is. You have three different tones. You have an orange, like a tan, and then a yellow. So what does it say to do? Twist. So I'm gonna hold the bottom. Wait. Oh, okay, the plastic. Oh, look. Twist it and the colors come out. So then I'm gonna put it in the cap. Very fine. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, let's do a little touching up. See, because I am a little dewy from wearing this makeup all day. So let's do this side. What do we think? Do we see anything? Was she anything? Let's get a little bit closer. Okay. Let's do the forehead. Okay. There are little shimmer particles in here. I thought it was like from my swatches, but no. There are shimmer particles in this powder, but they're very fine. I'm not getting like bits of glitter all over the face. Okay. Perfecting texture with no powdery or glittery finish. Skin flattering shade trio. Innovative packaging. Okay. I mean, I like it. I like it. I am looking forward to trying the, the, the uh, Givenchy one because everybody loves that powder and raves about it. I got two colors. <laughs> you guys know I love my pink powder. I'm having a moment with pink powder. Um, so I got a pink and then I got one that's more like my skin tone, the tan. Kind of like this. But yeah. Looks looks good. I like it. So far, so good, Givenchy. This is the Skin Caring Corrector. Right now, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Corrector. This one. This is a new one I recently picked up because I go through these and just repurchase them. This has kind of been the one I've reached for and purchased the most. It's really, really good. But I, you know, I like to kind of see if there's any other... Uh, color correctors out there that I really enjoy. I haven't really found it yet. So I want to give this one a try. It is in the shade peach. So yeah, this is very much peach in comparison to this one, which is like a orange. <laughs> the thought with this color and product in particular is to focus it like on the under eye to help brighten my darkness. That's giving concealer vibes. <laughs> No, it's not too... I kind of like that. See that? Look how it blended out so nicely. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. Oh, they do have a concealer with this. But I, I, I got the other concealer, the Valentino concealer instead. So I figured we'd try this and see how that goes. A little replenish on the eyebrow pencil department. I went with this one from Huda Beauty. It's the Bomb Brows. This is a micro shade brow pencil this is so tiny like the tip is micro as it says check that out do you see it's so tiny i thought that this was pretty small the one from dior the dior pencil but look it's so tiny but i like that it comes in handy when you want to get super precise with the brows and i have been trying to grow my brows out i've been using that serum which we'll talk about soon any hoots i feel like my eyebrows have grown quite a bit so i picked this up a little replenishment one side is a spoolie see it's so tiny you see how tiny 
so tiny and thin. Love that. Those are all the goodies I picked up. <laughs> I did replenish the skincare like I talked about in the recommendations and wishlist video. I did get something I've wanted to, which is the Givenchy, and those will be here soon. Comment down below and share the things that you've picked up during the sale. I didn't get too many. I did pretty good, right? I didn't go too crazy. <laughs> Just some things that I've wanted to try, some replenishments, and you know, didn't do too bad. I will say I really like these two. I think this is going to make a beautiful combo. Cream products during the summer are such a vibe. Like, yeah, it's hot, but cream products are just like so much easier. And then just some light layer of powder because light layers are key. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today, letting me share my Sephora goodies with you. Please take a moment to give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.